Namaste guys, in this quick tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a planetary mechanism in Swordworks. So let's start. I am going to make in assembly because I am just simply going to import all my parts. So click on design library, click on toolbox, click on edit now. After that go to NSI metric, click on power transmissions, click on gears. So we need internal spur gear. So make the module of 1mm and let's make it 3, make it bigger and number of teeth is 60 and here outside diameter is 190 or 200. Ok, so click OK, after that click on close, now click on again here, now this time select spur gear, now make sure that the module is 3 and the number of uh, teeth this time is 20, uh, you can increase the pressure angle face width as per your requirement, in my case it is 12 mm. Remember, I have used a uh, metric system, so all units are in mm. Click OK. Close it. As you can see, uh, what I can do is pressing Ctrl and right click on mouse, I can drag this gear again. Similarly, again. Or, I am going to change the color in future onwards, so what I can do is simply delete them. Uh, click here, click on spur gear and make the condition same. Okay, uh, by pressing control, drag it. Uh, now click on front plane, click on components, click on mates, click on view temporary axis, select this face. Uh, close this. The reason it is not acting because it is in fixed condition. So make it float first. Similarly, right click on. Uh, now select this axis, click on mate, select top plane, click OK, select this and select right plane. Sorry, delete this front plane, click OK, select this face, select the right plane, click OK. Now select this one and this, make it concentric, click OK, select this face and this face, click OK. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal spin to the view. Close this, uh, move this gear here and uh, do this here press control and drag this and move it little bit here now select this click on mates uh, let them rotate sorry press select this face Press Ctrl plus 8. Now go to mates. Select this axis and this axis. Click on distance. Enter the value 60 mm. Click OK. Similarly, click on distance. Select this and this 60 mm. Click OK. Now select this and this. 60 mm click ok select this face select this face and select this face click ok select this face sorry select this face press ctrl plus 8 for front view 
Now delete this, go to mechanical mates, click on gear. Uh, before I apply gear, make sure that the uh, gear teeth position are in correct place. So move them accordingly. this one and rotate it little bit this one and this is the last one click ok after that go to mates uh, go to mechanical mates click on gear select this face and this face uh, gear ratio is same so don't worry about it we don't need to worry about changing these things ok all we need to see is whether we need to click on reverse or not so suppose I click on simply click ok so if I click on here click on rotate component you can see it is working correctly press control plus 8 similarly select this face or delete this select this face and this face um, mechanical gear ok and the last um, second last sorry select these two mechanical gear ok select the face press ctrl plus 8 so you can see it is working great press ctrl set now we have to define another uh, the last one so click on mates click on mechanical click on gear so select this face and select this one this time you need to be precaution uh, what are you entering so if you remember correctly this is 60 and this is 20 so so under 60 20 click ok so let's check it yep it's working Press Ctrl 8. Right click on it. Let's give them some colors. Body. Uh, let's say this is red one. And let's give it color of blue. Click OK and hide the temporary axis. So here we got the animation. If you want to animate it, simply go to Motion Study. Click on Gear select this face click ok and click here increase the rpm to 30 or 60 as per your requirement select this face press ctrl plus 8 click on calculate now you can see it is much smoother now because it is now animating first it has done is calculating and after that is now doing is animation and if you want to learn about how to do SOLIDWORKS animation and motion analysis I have made a course on Udemy so you can check out the link in description if you really want to learn more about the course okay link is in the descriptions thanks for watching and have a great day namaste